Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to MPG and today is going to be an update on my 2017 Super Hot Pepper variety. But first thing is first guys, if this is your first time tuning into my channel and you guys want to learn how to grow all organically no-till, then you must check out my other videos on my channel. Please feel free to check them all out. If you have any questions, just comment down below. All right, everybody. So uh, let's get this uh, update going. <laughs> all right, everybody, as you can see, these seedlings are doing just fine. As you can tell, the growth uh, on these seedlings are pretty much, they already rooted out into these pots. So they're already acclimated into the soil. So pretty soon, next week comes around, you're gonna see all these seedlings popping up, more bushy. And like I said, these chocolate reapers have been sprouting. Well, I've only got it, let me see, four, five, six, seven. I got seven chocolate reapers. So uh, that's good enough for me, you know? And here's my two crosses. One of them is my uh, seven pot bubblegum cross of mine, crossed with the Carolina Reaper. And the other one's a seven pot bubblegum cross, crossed with the BTR. Now the seven pot bubblegum cross guys, that's my personal cross guys. So I did cross them with the Carolina Reaper and the Butch T Carolina Reaper. And the rest of all these I've already kind of mentioned. There's Red Dog, we have Chocolate Bootlas in there. We got some Bleeding Board Nines and uh, there's a lot of other varieties, a lot of bubblegum varieties. I'm uh, I'm a big fan of the bleeding calyx. All right, guys. So I've been running into a little problem here and there with these uh, fungus gnats. They just don't give up, guys. I'm just uh, you know, it gets a little annoying here and there when they're flying in and around your face. But uh, but yeah, guys, I've been um, trying to uh, target them all natural, organically. I don't wanna throwing anything that's gonna disturb the soil so my good friend Joshua Steensman um, if you're watching this brother I'm my bad if I pronounce your name wrong but uh but yeah he recommended that you know uh, that I check into uh, some rove beetles and some stratio I don't know if I'm pronouncing it wrong but they're uh, natural predators of all of these uh, fungus gnats and all the larvae that are in your soil so um, looking into that I'll be purchasing them uh, pretty soon so uh, so yeah guys you know those are just beneficial natural predators you know organic guys I'm not using any pesticides to soak the soil or anything like that um, I know there's those mosquito dunks here and there but you know I just want to target this the natural way guys it might be a little costly guys because it's recommending that you have to do uh, next day shipping or air shipping so uh so that's the only thing that's kind of bugging me but you know you got to do what you got to do if you want to grow beautiful healthy organic so yeah guys joshua steens and he's a uh an awesome cannabis grower he grows all no-till all organic guys you guys go check out his channel if you guys are not into cannabis or anything like that you know uh me i don't judge you know i you know, if you're growing all organically, you know, so there's a lot of great information on those pages as well. I've learned a lot from uh, a lot of other guys, a lot of cannabis growers, guys. So, uh, so yeah, guys, you know, I'm, I'm, I keep my, uh, my options open. I'm an open-minded individual. So, uh, I said, I don't judge. I love Mother Nature's, all Mother Nature's creations. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, check him out, guys. He's an awesome dude. So, yeah. So, all right guys so what i'm trying to say is that you know i don't judge what you guys grow you know the crops you guys grow so you know if you're growing no to all organic guys you guys can apply that method that growing method to any crop that you are growing like i said there's a lot of great information on and other individuals pages on youtube and other forums here and there and you can learn a lot from all, a, a lot of from these uh Oh my gosh <laughs> you can learn a lot from all of these individuals they're very awesome dudes all awesome people so uh, so where I'm gonna be purchasing all these uh, natural predators for all these fungus gnats and all these larvas that that are disturbing me <laughs> that's getting on my nerves I'm gonna be checking into evergreen grower supply so uh, 
hopefully in the next upcoming this upcoming days or something I'll be purchasing a bottle of uh, of those natural predators so uh, so yeah guys again Joshua if you're watching this thanks a lot brother I really appreciate your uh, your help in this and uh, like I said there's plenty of other ways that you could target these fungus gnat problems guys you know it's there's more than one method of taking care of them but I want to target them the natural way and uh, not to uh, disturb my soil you know because like I said you know right now I want my seedlings to get the best start in life and as you can see they are flourishing guys so alright guys as you guys can see like I said my ceilings are doing awesome under this kind LED light and again guys protect your eyes with the method 7 lenses or glasses and um, because these UV and uh, these UV and the infrared lighting on this the spectrum they can cause damage guys so uh, protect your eyes guys and again if you guys are so if you guys are inquiring over these uh, method 7 clip-on lenses that I'm using over my prescription glasses or if you guys don't use prescription they sell you know method 7 glasses you guys could always reach Lauren over at method 7 I'll put her contact uh, information down on the description of this video and if you guys are interested in this kind LED or this gorilla grow tent you guys can message my good brother JT over at gorilla grow tent and uh, so yeah guys if you guys have any questions or besides before I even go there what methods you guys use to take care of these pest issues uh, as in uh, fungus gnats because let's face it guys they're very annoying guys <laughs> and uh, you know they'll just fly right up in your nose and dude you know what that's very annoying <laughs> so I want to know how you guys take care of your pest issues and uh, what do you guys use and um, so yeah guys if you guys have any questions please comment down below and uh, if you guys uh, are inquiring about the products the fertilizers that I'm using all the down-to-earth products you guys could check the links down on my description you know direct you straight to Amazon and um, or you guys could always message JP over at down to earth and uh, they're very great people guys are awesome people and um, so yeah guys please like the video <laughs> please share the video with your friends and family and please subscribe to my channel